Hey, so if you have watched either of my never full reviews, then I've mentioned in both of them how obsessed I am with the little wallets, the little pouches that come inside the Neverfulls. Um, it clips right in, they have like a little hook that you can clip right, that it clips on right in the bag. But I love using those little wristlets as wallets. I have so much crap in my wallet. Like I'm not an organized person. I don't lay all of the, um, all of the cash out all in like an organized spot my change i don't have like a little change purse or anything like that i'm just a mess in my wallet so i love that um wristlet the little pouch because i just shove everything in there with my phone and a pack of gum and it is like the perfect size to either carry in the neverfull or before i had the neverfull and that's what i'm going to share with you today is how i ordered um the wristlet on its own now, this was about a year, it was January of 2016 that I ordered the wristlet, and um, I had to jump through some hoops to even get it in the first place. It, on, on the receipt, um, it is coded as a repair, the never full repair. Um, and so just for the wristlet alone, it cost $300. Uh, but I didn't care because I loved that so much and I wasn't ready to like buy the Neverfull at that time. So I just wanted that wristlet. So anyway, I called, I talked, I spoke to a uh, person. I just ordered it over the phone, but she took my order. Um, I can't remember exactly how it all went down, but she, you know, was like telling me that they wouldn't sell it to me. And then I talked to another person and then she's like, okay, well, we have to code it a different way. So you're going to have to specifically ask for a repair part. So I did have to jump through some hoops. It was a little bit more difficult to order it. I don't know if that's changed, but like I said, this was over a year ago, but I did have to um, ask for the repair department to order that um, piece. And I know you normally can't do that. You just can't call in and ask for a repair. So anyway, it may have changed, maybe not, I don't know, but I was able to jump through that hoop and get what I wanted. So this is how it was delivered. And I usually like to go to stores to buy them. I don't like buying them online. I like to go in, hold them, put them up to my body, look in a mirror, do all that. But this one, um, I have I had seen it before, so I knew it was pretty safe because it was just a little wristlet. So this was um, before they started doing their new boxes. This was a year ago. And it comes in the dust cloth, which I like that they took the extra effort to box it properly even though it was just a replacement part. And I was able to get it with the pink, the hot pink. That was kind of new at the time, I believe, is to get the color. Um, I think they had a orange or a yellow or something like that, that you could get the little accent color. But this is what I ordered. This is how it looks inside. It doesn't have any zippers inside, it just has like a divider, so kind of like a pocket on the one side. And then, so it has two separate sides, but this is a little bit tighter of a pocket on this side, so it would hold like, oh, sorry, that side. So it holds your cash a little bit tighter on that side or, ch or change or something like that. But big enough, I have an um, iPhone 7 Plus, and so it's plenty big to do that. Also, when I'm at a store or I'm running into a store or something like that, I like to just tuck it underneath my arm like that. It's also nice to just hold like this and put underneath your, um, you know, just right around your, your wrist if you're running into a store or something like that. So anyway, I love this so much. So now because I have the Neverfull GM and I bought it in the pink, um, I now have two of these, which I'm okay with because I love it and I hope nothing ever happens to it. <laughs> but if it does, I have a backup. So um, anyway, that was just my experience. Like I said, it, I had to talk to the repairs department um, I don't know exactly what the situation is, you know, a year later, if they still are able to do that or whatever. But, um, also too, on my other, on a, a, the Neverfull, um, Demier Azure, Azure video, I think I said that right. Uh, I got cut off because I didn't know YouTube clocked you now. I think you only have 15 minutes. But what I was saying at the beginning of that, um, is that Louis Vuitton has come out with these amazing straps that you can interchange from bag to bag. And right now they only have it um, for, they only have the monogram strap 
and so it comes in this um, but they are thicker wider straps that you can hook onto your bags and the one I'm thinking that would be awesome is um, my uh, sorry why did I just forget the name of it um, sorry I totally forgot the name of it but it came back to me the artsy because with the artsy it has to go on your shoulder and it tucks right underneath your armpit or you have to hold it right here in, um, in your elbow. I'm thinking these straps that Louie just came out with and I will post a picture. I'll um, put a picture at the end so you can see what I'm talking about. But they're wider right at the shoulder, so about this wide. And then they kind of narrow down and you and they have the clasps on the end. So you can just hook it from one side of your purse to the other. And so the one side is monogram and then the other side they come in so many fun colors. They have them in uh, they have like a silver, a gold, a hot pink, um, an orange. I think they have like a snake skin. I can't remember. They have a ton of colors. And the one I would want it for, because the monogram purses that I have all have longer straps on them, so I wouldn't need it for a monogram. But the Demier Azur, they said that they will be coming out with those pretty soon, um, sometime during the summer because that's the one I want to get. And I think they're around $300 for the strap, but they are so cute. You could either have it on um, the side, the monogram or Demier Azur side, or you could flip it around for a fun pop of color and just to mix things up a little and have it on uh, the colored side showing. So anyway, I'm really excited for those. Like I said, I will post a picture um, just at the end of this video so you can see what it looks like. But, um, Anyway, that would be a great way to kind of like switch up your bag a little bit. There's also always, I have another video on here of the charms. I was never a fan of the charms, but uh, with one of my, the artsy black leather bag that I have, I like putting the charm on that. Kind of just breaks up the black and just adds like a little fun touch. And um, so there are ways to kind of mix up your bags and kind of, you know, I mean, as if they aren't beautiful enough, but if you ever need a little like, pop of something on your bag, that's a good way to do it. So anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.